Navigas Circ Pro integration with WordPress. We are so excited to bring this to you, uh, bring this to our customers today. Uh, it's something that people have been asking for for a long time. Um, we recently got a, a good connection at Circ Pro Naviga and we're able to work out with their API and get this working with WordPress. So this is something that we can set up for you very quickly. Uh, we'll talk about the setup process shortly. Um, but quickly, just for an outline of today's demo, so you can see how this works, it's going to be really in the weeds, just looking at the back end of Cirque Pro and the website. So first, we're going to create a combo account on the website and show you how that automatically updates in Cirque Pro. Um, then we'll update the subscription on the website. So this will be a user experience, changing their own subscription from monthly to annual, and then show that update in Cirque Pro, edit the mailing address, and then account recovery. Okay, so we'll hit these four topics. Jump in at any time with any questions. I want to say hello and welcome to John, Barbara, Jenny, and Michelle. Thank you all so much for joining us. Um, great to see you here. So let me turn this over at this point to James, uh, who's joining me, our uh, chief engineer. So I'm going to stop my share. Um, this stuff is so cutting edge, I needed our uh, lead developer to come and <laughs> demo it. So um, he's got this sandbox environment set up, so it's not going to look too fancy. It's no one's live site, but this is just uh, to demonstrate the feature. So hopefully you can all see our screen now. Um, so James, would you please start with uh, the website? So on the right, we've got the subscribe page. And you're all familiar with this. So this would be your subscribe page. They would a user going to a combo order. Um, and we're just gonna fill in some dummy information here. Just filler. So this is your normal subscribe process. There's really nothing different here. Um, from the user's perspective. And just like today, they're gonna to have instant access to the website, so nothing is different there. But normally, now you would either get an email sent to your print circulation department, or you could go into member press and download a CSV of all your current subscribers and then import that into Naviga. Uh, those are pretty much the two options. But as you'll see now, what's gonna happen is basically instantly, uh, there's, there's a few seconds that it takes for the system to update, but it's gonna automatically uh, add that subscriber to uh, so Cirque Pro. In Cirque Pro, normally this would be automated. Um, we left this uh, manual so we, should, we can show uh, that it comes into Cirque Pro. Uh, so right. I'm just gonna go ahead and process it. Right. all right let me pull this up i'm going to move it to my other screen for a second so i can zoom in and there's a lot going on here i think you can zoom if you need to the window um okay there we go on the left what this is the right one yeah, so obviously we've got a bunch of test subscriptions and stuff in there, but um, so basically that's it. That's the whole process, right? So like you said, it would normally just automatically update, but you can go in there and, well, you might have it set up so that you have to force it, but I think most people it's probably automatic, right? Right. Okay. So I'm assuming everyone on the call is probably more familiar with Cirque Pro than I am. So hopefully this all makes sense to you all. Can you all drop something in the chat? Um, oh, and I actually forgot um, I wanted to do <laughs> a quick poll. So let's do let's get some feedback in the chat if you could, if this all makes sense so far. And also let's run a quick poll just to see where our audience is at. I forgot to do this at the beginning. Um, 
Naviga poll. Okay. Are you currently using Naviga Circ Pro to manage print subscribers? I just want to know where we're at as a percentage. Um, because if you're not using it yet, right now, the, the, that's the only system that this will work with. So you would need to get on Circ Pro. But as soon as you're on there, we could set you up. Um, now I'm assuming, okay, it looks like about 75% are already on Circ Pro. So you're qualified uh, just to shoe in and uh, we can get you set up. So 50-50. Okay. I mean, maybe uh, it would be helpful to know in the chat, if you're not using Circ Pro, what are you using? Because we're always looking for ways to, you know, automate these things. Um, and I'm assuming most of you on the call today are using the export process. That'd be kind of interesting to know too, if you're using the CSV export or if you use the notifications. Okay. I think that's most of simple circ. That's what Courtney uses. Okay. Simple circ, is that related to Naviga or no? I think I've seen it. Uh, it sounds familiar, but okay. So I just shared the poll. So it looks like actually under half uh, are currently on Cirque Pro. So those three folks uh, that replied that way uh, would definitely, you know, be the first ones that we could switch over. But um, you know, we can talk about other systems uh, possibly. But you know, really, ideally, you can get on Cirque Pro and uh, just use this right away. Okay, stop sharing the poll. I don't believe it's tied to Naviga. Okay, thank you. Okay, so that is, um, okay. Let's go to the next demo, I think. Upgrading subscriptions from monthly to annual. Okay, so this is, again, from the user's perspective. Um, we're going to go in and see, so you all hopefully know that your subscribers can go, all go in and manage their account. So uh, he clicked on my account and came into this active subscription, clicked on the subscri subscriptions uh, tab, and then we're going to be able to, for the first time, um, upgrade our account. Now just hang tight. Just a quick heads up. This is a you know sandbox site and everything. It's not live, so sometimes we're going to have a little delay on things. So just sit tight. Um, I will point this out. We've got this live and uh, in production with uh, Restoration Media, and we're going to roll out to a, a beta tester, uh, the Daily News next, and then once all the kinks are worked out, then we're going to quickly roll it out to anyone else that is interested. So, yeah, uh, so the test environment oh, uh, yeah. with Authorize, um, yeah. it complains about the... We saw some issues earlier. Yeah, no problem. These these things are going to happen. But again, it's been uh, a good rollout. We've, um, you know, we've gotten some people that have had issues recovering email. We have a whole process worked out for that. So we can uh, talk to you more about that if you're interested. But um, you know, the uh, so far the, the rollout has been very smooth. So, you know, really all that we would need up front, uh, what we'll be looking for is we'll, the next step, if you're interested in moving forward, is we're just going to need some basic technical information uh, from Circ Pro so that we can set up the API uh, and we'll need, you know, all your uh, subscription information for any combo orders if we don't have that. Um, but then once that's all set up, Basically, uh, we can launch this. Let me see if I can adjust my audio here. Hopefully, everyone can hear everything okay. Um, all right, so I didn't see much else feedback there. So I think we had like four other people that said they're not using Cirque Pro. So if you didn't hear that, I'd love to hear what system you are using, if you could drop it into the chat. I know another really popular one is uh, Interlink. Unfortunately, they don't have an open API that we know of. 
Um, but if you do work with Interlink and you could, you know, maybe get access to that, uh, you know, it turns out that they do have it or something, um, that would be helpful. So is this an updated Circ Pro version? I mean, I'm assuming this is the most up to date. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get our Circ Pro contact on here with us. So um, he would probably this be able to This is for tell us. <laughs> uh, 7217. They should oh, be pretty you. similar. Okay. Seven, that should be similar to like the most updated version you're saying right yeah there's a couple of changes but most of the api calls are the same so it should work wondering if we don't have the most up-to-date version good questions okay so um let's the most up-to-date version if it will still work i think we could figure that out very quickly jenny if um we'll get you the form of the info that we need. I don't have it with me right now, but um, yeah, then we'll uh, contact Cirque Pro and, and find out very quickly. So great question from Robert. Can you manage vacations, et cetera, on this platform? We were talking about that with um, our contact at Cirque Pro just the other day, and that's not part of this release, but it will be part of a future release so thank you for that question that's a good one uh, unfortunately yeah that would have to just still be a manual thing at this point um you know so we could have contact info and then give you a big part of this is going to be giving you the tools that you need to um you know troubleshoot for customers that call so you know that would be uh one thing that we would train you on it should be all in um member press Okay. Authorized finally took the nice. The okay. Time. Look at that. Okay, man. Fix it on the fly under pressure. So change plan. Uh that's a new button, uh basically that's part of this. So go ahead and show us how that works. So yeah, this lets you upgrade. Say you're upgrade. on a monthly, you right. can go to 12 months. Right. And that's just part of the strategy we talk about all the time, right? You have that intro month for 99 cents and then they get on the auto, uh, you know, renewing. And then if they want to upgrade for, you know, a pro rate, they can do that right here. Um, and so, yeah, terms. Okay. And then in the next page, it's going to. So that shows you the different prices since the, they already had a monthly account. It's yeah, the difference, right. So now they put their credit card in again. Okay, question from Robert. Can you process payments with other vendors, Payway? Right now, uh, we only support Authorize. I think that's kind of a, a Naviga restriction, isn't it? Because we do Stripe. Um. Or, I think Naviga does have other ones, but the way that the system is created, uh, oh, okay, yeah, it's only yeah. authorized right now. I gotcha. So this is the upgrade coming in to Naviga, right? And you can see it upgraded here. Right. So this is the same account that you signed up for earlier in the demo. And um, can we look at the history here? Is that something that you showed me earlier? Yeah. I don't think it shows it here. Oh, it's not going to show. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Does everyone, um, is this familiar to everyone watching this interface here? Um, and just being able, because normally uh, I'm assuming you would have to come in here and just change that manually, right? Once they contact you. So um, it'll be completely automatic. He, he's been in here and he's updating it. But again, yours is probably just going to automatically do it by the next um, mailing date. Okay, so now jump in with any questions, but we'll just keep Moving ahead to the third feature to demo, which is editing the mailing address. So we can't right now put you on vacation, but you can, if you're moving, 
you can do that here, uh, self-service. Jenny asks, does this automatically update their status and apply to their account? So you, I, I assume you're talking about in Circ Pro? Update their status. Yes, that's exactly what happened. We didn't, couldn't really see it happen before our eyes, but this, the, it was at the uh, monthly rate, and then it went to annual. If they are inactive, it will flag it to active. Yeah. So um, the way that it works mm -hmm. is it won't show it's active until the next published date. Um, that's what this little explanation point is. So it actually is active. Uh, and yeah. depending on your settings, um, that allows them to still view the content. Right. Yeah. That was something that Brian mentioned the other day, right? It's, it's like, it's a cron thing and it only runs like right before the mailing. Right. And everyone yes. that's waiting to become act active will become there. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Good question, Jenny. Thank you for helping us clarify that. Okay, so then over here on the right, we're back on the website, and this is the history. So we do have a history here. That's cool. So it's no longer active on the website. That makes sense. So the subscriber can see all this. And we're going to update the uh, delivery address. Yep. That's um, exactly. So just updating the street address here. So uh, yeah, just take note of the numbers and I think we can see, yeah, you can actually see the change there. So, um, there is a little of that history reflected. Yeah. And then this will show uh, when it, again, when the, okay. the next edition gets published, the address will update to the new one. Right. Yep. So does that, anyone have questions on that? He just changed the number and that's all automated. Now the last big feature, this is the, this is a good one, account recovery. So this is for subscribers that exist that, that are print subscribers and you want to give them online access for free or, you know, just a, a digital upgrade. Um, they would go through this system. So um, in the past, you would have to export your list from Circ Pro and import it into the website constantly and, and you know, to, to always be able to catch these people that would randomly come and claim their upgrade. But now it's going to automatically sync up. So you see he's grabbing. Um, this is a cool case because it's one address, two people, right? Living there. Um, right. And they all have the same email address. So there's actually three accounts. So, you know, you, you're going to have weird cases like this. We've built it so it accounts for that. One second. Oh, oh yeah. Sorry. So we're, yeah, sorry. We're using like these five emails and, you know, for this demo and you got to constantly delete them and stuff. So uh, hang on one second and we'll get that taken care of. So we actually specifically just do the address. Um, we were talking earlier, cause that's really, you know, the minimum information that you need, but if you have more info or if in your database, there are more people, then we uh, ask them to verify and give more info. So um, once that's cleared, then uh, they're into the website instantly. No manual updating. So any questions on that? Uh, 
let's uh can we back up real quick james and since we have some time here i figured this would take about 30 minutes so we got a little bit of time can you go back and look at um the uh account recovery uh support section let's just show sure. folks that okay so this is something we developed for restoration because you know there's always going to be folks that still have trouble it's uh the confirmation emails go into their spam or you know they're just not using the the form correctly so uh, we can set up this account recovery form and it will send an email to you with all of their info and we've actually uh, we're documenting a, a whole um, kind of flow flow chart that you could follow you know for solving their issues just troubleshooting whatever's going on there so um we'll, we're actually going to be putting out a whole bunch of material on that a video and just like a step-by-step -step, um troubleshooting uh protocol so stand by for that but um you know we, we didn't really see that many issues but you know there's enough where you know you don't want to leave people hanging if they can't get it working so um Jenny asked, if someone cancels their subscription, does this automatically issue a refund? Um, so that's something that we talked to um, Navica about, um, and they didn't recommend doing it that way. Um, they recommended that uh, we have it sent to the publisher, uh, but it is possible. So it is something that we could add. Gotcha. All right, good questions. Um, anything else that you guys would like to see here? Uh, any other features uh, that we haven't shown you that you would like to have as part of this? If you do think of anything, please don't hesitate to drop it in the chat. Um, but I think we're basically done with the demo. James, is there anything else that I missed or did we hit everything on your checklist? That should be everything. Great. Okay. Why don't you go ahead and unshare the screen and I'll just uh, wrap it up here. Um, let's see the outline slide one second. So yeah, um, just to kind of get to the, uh, the number side of things, um, we can do this for just a one-time setup fee, $250 to get all the uh, subscriptions set up on our side and then it's a hundred dollars a month for you know unlimited syncing you know it's just gonna run in the background at all the time at all times so um i hope that this is you know going to save you folks some money and time i think with the other options we've seen out there they're they're much more um expensive so okay good answering questions thank you so um yeah, let us know if you have any questions on this, but uh, basically um, once we're done with the beta, we're going to start rolling it out. So if you are interested in moving forward, de definitely let us know as soon as you can. You can uh, shoot an email to ops uh, if you want to move forward with this, um, and then you'll be first in line. Um, just while I have everyone's attention, I just thought um, I would bring this up. And please, again, get any last minute questions you have into the chat. Um, because we're going to wrap it up in just a few minutes here uh, if we don't get any more. Um, but Kevin uh, Slim's got some events coming up. I just wanted to let you guys know at three o'clock today, we're going to be uh, there and covering this and we'll kind of put together a digest. But uh, he's going to be covering newspaper grants uh, with uh, the guy from Kids Scoop. And then um, in a couple of weeks, he'll have a, a pretty cool webinar on getting people to pick up your paper. It's kind of like a general design webinar. I've seen it a version of this a couple of years ago. Um, so set, sign up uh, to attend right here. Um, I can definitely, yes, Jenny, that's, we will be sending a follow-up and you can just respond to that. And, you know, this will definitely be something that we'll be promoting in um, a lot of the newsletters, you know, so there'll be plenty of communication on it. Yeah. Plenty of opportunities to sign up. All right. Well, that's it for um, us, folks. So thank you very much for your time. Um, again, if you have any questions, you can shoot them over to Ops, um, but you will be receiving a follow-up on this and we'll send out a video as well. So you know, if you want to show it to anyone or review it, you can do that. Um, all right. Thank you all so much again, and we'll uh, look forward to hearing from you. Take care.